What's going on guys, it's Surfcast in the Island and today I'm going to be talking about the Vanstall VR50 which is the newest installment out of all the Vanstalls and um, it's going to be a full year review and reflection after usage. Um, I got the reel back in I want to say May so I was able to use it through the whole spring run and then I kind of use it the beginning of the fall when the fish were kind of smaller. Um, once the bigger fish showed up, I switched over to the my VR 150 and so on. But in terms of the 50 itself, it, I caught a fair amount of fish in the back bays and up front on it. And um, personally, I love the reel. It, it's held up great. It's a small profile. I know that's why it was such a big demand on the market this past year and why they were back ordered so much. I, I couldn't get my hands on it right away, just like many of my other friends. Um, I think it's just a big game changer instead of, you know, walking around with a 704Z or, you know, a bigger VS. Something smaller profile gives you something you can hold in your hand all day long. Um, it's much more comfortable throwing lighter plugs and swim baits and bucktails. Um, a lot of guys say like, oh, you need a bigger reel for a 9-footer or a 10-footer and so on. Believe it or not, this reel I've put on, I've put it on a 9-footer, no problem. Um, you know, it compares to a lot of those 4,000 size reels out there. Um, this is mine right here. And I just love it, you know. Unlike the other Van Stools, it has a six, uh, 6 to something to 1 gear ratio. And that's great for a reel this size. You need fast pickup with a smaller spool diameter. Um, but, man, like even it has just over 20 pounds of drag, which is completely massive for a reel this size. Um, you don't really see that. Um again the whole ergonomics of the reel the the delrin handle it's just it works out so so great i haven't had a problem with the drag or the bearings or anything you know just give it a spray here and there and you know i've moved fish up to the 30 32 inch class and uh no problem uh no problem at all um in terms of the line i have on it i have 20 pound test power pro um i think you don't really want to go over 15 20 pounds it's a smaller setup you're not this is not the reel i'm going to be cow hunting with you know with 40 pound test on a 10 and a half foot stick that's just not the way it is just call spade a spade um but take it for what it is i think it's a great reel for the price and you know, a lot of guys say you know i'm not going to spend 500 on a reel and so on and so forth um honestly i think it's worth it i haven't had any problems with my van stalls and uh, just for a size comparison, this is a Clash 4000. You can see that the body size is pretty much the same. Um, the only difference I see is that the 50 has probably the size of a 3000 spool as opposed to, you know, your standard 4000, which you have on your pens and whatnot. But in terms of the pens and... I used to use them a lot before I got invested, heavily invested in Van Stoll. My first one was a 200, and then I progressed to the VRs. But neither here nor there, I just, I fell off with pen only because, you know, they didn't last long. Um, you know, the bearings would go halfway through the year. The gears would be shot. Um, you know, you take water with this thing, and it's just going to lock up. You know, on the other hand, with this thing... You know, get salt on it, no problem. Rinse it off, you don't have to take it apart, you wash out and grease the gears, you don't have to do that. The only thing I will say about the VRs is don't turn the handle underwater. They can take a soak in the wash. I would just don't recommend dunking and reeling. That's the only thing, but other than that, um, that's pretty much it. I really don't have much to say, I mean, like I said before, though, it's it's a big game changer. Um, guys in the Northeast love them. Um, you know, it's just a great reel. I have nothing else to say.